we just uh, docked. It is absolutely beautiful out. I think it's, uh, what, 62, 65 degrees. It's supposed to be almost 80. And blue sky, sun, white sandy beaches. We're going to go have some fun. All right, we're walking off the boat here. We're on a gigantic dock, pier, whatever. And you can see the ship behind us. I'm going over here to get me a coconut. Cut right here. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Ice cold coconuts, guys. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm all right. Welcome can I... to Harvest Key Belize, man. Yes, sir. Can I get two non-alcoholic? Non-alcoholic. That's two virgin style for you, sir. I got you hooked up right now. When you guys come to Belize, you got to come and see. Check Gilly, man. Gilly. Gilly? Harvest Key. <laughs> 2017, guys. And what we do out here, we make some of the nicest drinks around, right? Which is the coconut and the rum. You guys know I don't drink, so we're going to have it a virgin style. We're going to start the day off natural, guys, right? So two virgin style, right? Yes, sir. All right, I'm just going to open them all up. And what happens when you finish eat, drinking it, you can also take it back to our main kiosk. Get it cut in half so you can get okay. the meal, right? The meal is all that white material in there. That's good flesh to eat. Good deal. Sure, so you get your money's worth over here, guys. For $5, <laughs> you get to drink something and eat something. Just like Gilligan's Island, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this will be the virgin style coconut, guys. All right, thank you. For sure. Natural coconut juice. Sure. Ah, thank you, Gilly. We got zip lining going on, people paddle boarding, kayaking, and just laying around. We got people wearing bikinis way too small. <laughs> just walked into the swimming pool area. This whole area is a private, I believe a private resort for Norwegian. It's very, very nice, well kept together clean, restroom facilities clean. You don't have a whole bunch of people trying to sell you stuff. And uh, you know, they have shops and everything that's actually modestly priced. It's not gouging anybody, but it's, uh, it's very, very, very clean. Beaches are white, nice to walk on, lifeguards on duty, swim up bar. Heading back to the boat, and I'm almost out of battery. Yay. What do you think, Emily? <laughs> it How was, was great. Costa Maya, Mexico, and you can see here we got a carnival cruise ship behind us. 
we've actually already docked and we're on the pier. Uh, Emily and I were getting ready to go. We got to go and they got some crazy instructions to meet this uh, shuttle, but we're going to the Mayan ruins, get to see some pyramids, really, really cool stuff. Stuff I've never seen before. Um, you know, back in 2014, I actually went through Egypt. I was in Luxor. I got to see some really cool Egyptian ruins. But now we're going to see some Mayan ruins. Emily's kind of left me behind. She's like, hurry up. We're running a little late. But I have my drone with me. The crew member that has set all this up they went above and beyond. They wrote Costa Maya and Cozumel before we got here to see if I could have permission to fly the drone. That's quite amazing. Norwegian, thumbs up. Three of them. I only have two, but I'll give you the extra. How we doing, babe? You gotta not walk your normal pace. I gotta walk faster. See the instructions there. This is like a treasure hunt. <laughs> Here's the off-road vehicles, I guess. There's actually a, a lot of directions here to get to the Mayan ruins on the excursion that we took. So we're walking. We're on some uh, Costa Maya streets. You see here. Excursions and cabs everywhere. Looks like we made it here. Now we gotta check in and everything. Before you Yes. And we have restrooms. Alrighty. This is gonna be another packed minivan. foundation area to go see the sun and the moon temple I can't believe they're letting us walk on this it's all limestone see right here we have a thatch roof because we are trying to protect this part of the building okay because right here we have the remains of the stucco the stucco is the white paste and well the, the red color is obviously the natural color Doors, there we have the restaurant. 
So first of all, we're going to have our lunch because I guess we're hungry. Mm. All right, we're at a private resort, Laguna. It's out in the middle of the jungle, literally. And it took us, what, 10 minutes? Off the highway, bumpy gravel roads, one way, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. We're making uh, lunch for us here. There's grass hut roofs. This is authentic. We're gonna do this, then go swimming, and then head back to uh, Costa Maya, and maybe grab some shopping, and then get back on a boat and head back up to the north. All right, we just finished lunch. We had chicken fajitas that was authentic, delicious, and now we're going over to the beach. Oh yeah. Look at this. This is a private resort. I'm gonna find the name and how much it might be. This would be a perfect place to just come and get away. We're out kayaking here at this private resort. Can you comment, Emily? It's absolutely surreal out here. There's no wind, the sun's beating down. I have a lot of sunscreen on today. Yesterday I was burnt up really, really bad. I look like a lobster, but very exotic area. We just finished up with our Mayan ruins uh, tour. Also, our little getaway resort kayaking trip. Now we're walking back. Our day is ending here in Costa Maya. We're walking back to the ship. Norwegian getaway. Lots of touristy things here, huh? Every shop has about the same thing. If you want a hat, you can get a hat. Just keep asking around, see if you can get a better deal from here or there. So one might tell you 25, the next shop will tell you 20. Did you overpay for your hat? I might have overpaid for mine. I paid 15. So we'll see. All right, the, the Mexican culture and heritage is very rich here. They have a lot of dancing. A lot of history, the culture is great, very family orientated. If you go outside of the town here, things are very reasonable. Parte.